guys, it's Anissa Lamar. Welcome back to my channel. So I have a special guest today. Hi guys. This is Courtney of Curls and Couture, and we are back for part <laughs> two of our feminine hygiene series where we are reviewing the Thinks and the Diva Cup. And so for the last video, I said that I was gonna try the Diva Cup and Courtney said that she was going to try the Thinks. And so we have, so we're here to follow up um, with that. So we are going to get right into it because we have some interesting findings, I believe. Yes, so I tried the Thinks. Um, and I'll first start by saying, after we did our last video in between trying the Thinks, I did try and use the Diva Cup again and I can say I'm not a fan anymore. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but from the first time, I knew I struggled a little bit, and then like the next, the following days, I was good. And then I tried again, and it just was very, it was a struggle to get it to seal. It kept leaking, which was really annoying, so I kept having to wear a panty liner. And then on like the heavy days, I was just like, I just can't do this, I give up. And I ended up changing into something which was, you know, what we typically use, either a tampon or a pad. So that's my spiel on the Diva Cup. I still have it and I do want to try it again. The first time I tried it, I loved it. I don't know if it was because my period was light that time. I, I think that might have been the case for me too. But lately, my periods have not been super heavy, they've been mild to really light and really only last like three days, three or four days. So we like switched. Yeah, I love it. Because usually my second day is the heaviest, but like the past couple of months it really hasn't been like that. Oh my God, it's been the complete opposite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> I feel it coming more, like mm -hmm. my boobs hurt so bad and like I, I'm breaking out but as far as like when it actually happens it feels like my body just kind of like just like releases it and <laughs> goes about its business. <laughs> but mine has never been like that which is crazy. I did like it the first time. I um, only had to change it, I think I changed it twice that day, the heaviest day and then the other two days I wore it pretty much the whole day and I only had to change it once and you kind of forget that it's in there but the hardest part was kind of like bearing down because again you're still in your period so it's like you're still cramping a little bit so when you're bearing down to kind of get it out it hurts but other than that like it was cool but then the next month <laughs> it just wasn't cool i think i fell asleep in it and then I was rudely awakened when I felt something warm. And I was like, <gasps> and I had the skirts to the bathroom. And I was like, what is going on? <laughs> so I took it out, cleaned it, and then I put it back in, which is a headache because it's, it's really, really difficult to put it back in. I got the Athena cup, which is, I, I just got it off from Amazon. It was like two for $14. Comes in a cute little package like this too. Um, and it's pink, but it's pretty much the same size as the Diva Cup, but they're both hard as crap to put in. Like, I tried the method, the fold over, mm -hmm. and then the like U the thing. U part thingy. U part. <laughs> <laughs> that way, yes. So I did it like that. It's really hard to put in, so I have to lay on my back every time I put it in. Hmm. Cause I just can't like put it up there for some reason. <laughs> the Cup actually looks bigger. Like a little it's a little bit longer. Bigger. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, it's longer. Oh, it is a little bit bigger. So I wonder mm -hmm. if it holds more or if it's just it more does. like silicone. Yeah, it does. Uh huh. Because mm -hmm. it got all the way up to here. And oh. then I don't know if it's because maybe I was heavy that day and I just didn't realize it. And it was just going over. I don't know. <laughs> but I tried putting it back in and I was having to change it too much and it was just becoming a hassle. And I was like, you know what? I just don't have time for this, so I just put it on my pad and a tampon and called it a day. Cause I couldn't find my things. Like I don't know, I don't know where my things is. I don't know how you lose the things. I don't know how that happens. As you were talking about it, I was like, you know what? I feel like when I was a kid, I probably not a kid, but when I first started using tampons, you kind of had to like figure out how you you know That's like true. situate yourself That's true. and how to get it in. So it probably just takes a little bit of practice. Yeah. But, I mean, at 20 something years old, I was 
just you know like not in the mood especially on like a heavy period and you're irritated it's just yeah, like you just I'm not in the mood with it yeah. yeah so probably with the few tries I think it'll be easier because I've, I've heard people say like you know oh I love it my rap is going down it's so easy it's so convenient mm -hmm. so I just I think I maybe got irritated the second go around. Probably. And I'm super impatient, so I know I did. Oh, so. yeah, I'm very impatient. Yeah. I, I, I just think we didn't give it my a day. panties on it. <laughs> with the little things to call it a day. <laughs> How did you feel sleeping in it? Because I didn't, I haven't sleeping slept in the, the Diva Things. Cup. Oh, the Diva Cup? Sleeping in things was fine. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I love these things. They're so convenient. I felt good. Yeah. Um, I still did wear a pad. Because okay, just I case. feel like it's like wearing a tampon and once it's in there you really yeah, don't feel, feel it. it yeah. You feel it less than you would a tampon because it's like up there and there's no string so you don't you can't tell that it's there. So I did like that about it. So I think I'm gonna keep trying to and see if it works. Yeah, that's definitely true. I didn't feel like like you're right. I just I didn't feel it. Yeah, so you don't I feel anything. Once. I don't know. I'll try it again. Even when you're walking, I, and I think that's probably how you know you have it in right. If you walking and you don't feel it, you have it in right. And you literally like you have to go inside of yourself to make it like they, they, they say not to use like the stem. I use the stem because I wasn't trying to like play <laughs> gynecologist, but I, you know, you do have to like and with my nails, and you do have to go inside and twist it and lock it. And I think that was the issue. I just. Again, I just didn't have the patience. I'm like, I'm not doing this. Yeah. So that's our experience <laughs> with the Sphinx and Diva Cup. Let us know if you guys have tried the Sphinx or the Diva Cup. We would love to know your experience and maybe y'all can give us some tips Something on how to seriously. use it because, you know, I don't know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to please rate, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you follow Courtney and subscribe to her channel <laughs> and all of her social media networks. I'll have all of that listed in the description box below. So next time, see you guys later. Bye. Bye.